Many of us have probably considered buying a pet at some point before. But what if it looks like this soon after you buy it? Not very nice, isn't it? Good thing the Lemon Law has your back. The Lemon Law for Pet Owners Another Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. Recently, Topayo Vets handled a case where the Lemon Law could have helped the owner seek redress. The owner of this newly bought rabbit complained of crustiness at her paws and nose. And this is the main complaint. He just bought the rabbits two to three weeks ago from a pet shop. The Lemon Law, which was introduced in September 2012, enables owners like him to seek compensation. However, if he had understood this law better, he would not have waited for three weeks to seek treatment. Now that we know its history, the vet has to diagnose the problem with this rabbit. To do that, he has to obtain a sample. Upon examination through a microscope, it was determined that sarcoptic mites were present in the rabbit. This is what a sarcoptic mite looks like. Yes, huh? Now this looks very much like a ringworm and uh, and ringworm can be present as well with these ears. Then uh, this one we have to wash. In fact, it's probably had mites inside the ears as well this way. So there may be more than one mites. It might not only be sarcoptic mites. There is another mite affecting the ear canal. If these mites were present during the time of purchase, the pet shop would be liable as the Lemon Law presumes defects that occur within 6 months of delivery existed at delivery unless the seller proves otherwise. For example, if the pet shop can prove that the pet was sold before the incubation period of an infectious disease, it will not be liable. The incubation period is the time from contracting the disease to the time the symptoms are first visible. In light of this Lemon Law, here are a few tips for potential pet buyers. Firstly, bring your new pet for examination after purchase. Secondly, take photos of any defects found during the examination from the front, the back, the left and right sides and under its belly as proof to show to the pet shop. Inform the pet shop as soon as possible about the defects and seek a refund or come to a common agreement to share the medical costs to treat the pet. Finally, it is recommended that all pet owners get the pet shop to write down all pre-existing defects. Now, we'll proceed with the treatment of the rabbit. Firstly, we'll have to shave her paws. Once that's done, we'll have to apply an insecticide wash to get rid of the mites. We'll now show you how to apply the insecticide wash and the equipment you'll need. The glove, the wash, the insecticide wash, which the, the swab, and then uh, the rinse, rinse, rinse the legs of the woman here to protect the eyes huh? before you wash a uh, little bit. Okay, enough. Soak the cotton swabs in the insecticide wash we saw earlier and scrub the affected areas of the rabbit vigorously. In this case, the nose and the paws. By now, you're probably worried about the ways this law can be abused. It is true that the Lemon Law gives the pet owners greater power to seek refunds. However, this law isn't as powerful as it sounds. For example, owners can't use this law to get a refund just because they have changed their minds about owning a pet. Also, any defects the pet shop points out at the time of delivery isn't covered under this law. Once the scrubbing is done, the rabbit is then injected with an anti-mite injection that will kill the mites present via the bloodstream. An antifungal shampoo is prescribed to the owners for home use. With that, the treatment is finished. We've now come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching.